A. The piece of land is covered in brambles and nettles. First I'm clearing to see and free what there is. Then I'm digging, clearing deeper to give space to what could become. In the process I'm uncovering things that once were. B. The instructions say to cut out two squares of about 21.5 cm by 21.5 cm from different coloured cotton to distinguish the inner layer from the outer layer. Then it says to stitch them together leaving a gap where you can insert a filter as a third layer, should you wish, for extra protection when inhaling air. A and B are unrelated. Challenge. You can play alone or with one other. Take the double cloth and lay it out on a flat surface. It is your stage, your canvas, your playing field, your ring, your battleground or your dance floor. Take all the objects out of the bag, line them up or place them in no particular order outside the cloth. Object 1 is placed somewhere on the field. Object 2 is added on the field while respecting as well as relating to object 1. Object 1 can now respond and shift. Change the relation and challenge object 2 to respond in turn. It is a dance. At any point a call for object 3 might be provoked. A call occurs when it becomes clear when and where object 3 wants to be placed in the field. Placing object 3 invites a new dynamic, not only to the ring but also to the question of who represents which object if two players are involved. When there's another call, object 4 comes in and so on. Of course, you are equally allowed to remove an object instead of adding one. Once you are in agreement that all objects on the canvas are placed in conversation within the platform and there is no requirement to add any new objects to the stage, the round is over. The dance has been had. A momentary new order has been created. It is unlikely but not impossible that all objects need to be involved to reach this conclusion. You can take as long as you like, there is no time limit, it might never end. And then again, it might never start. Additional information. Placing choker bone JB can happen at any point instead of adding a new object. The JB is generally placed around the gap, the opening of the frame, the entrance to the stage. JB holds the position of a referee, a guard, a guide. If you align the JB alongside the frame stitching somewhere inside the square, no object is allowed to leave. Placing the JB in the field of the frame on the outside of the gap, no new object is allowed in. Placing the JB perpendicular to the frame in the middle of the entrance, you can swap replace any object from inside with one from the outside. I repeat, you are allowed to place or remove the choker bone at any point instead of adding or shifting an object. Upgraded variation. Mark out a square of 2 by 2 meters anywhere on the floor. While you remain on the outside, you place object 1, for example a chair, lamp, bucket, etc. inside and proceed as above. If you play with one other, you must stay on the opposite side of the square at all times. If one moves to a new side of the square to get, place or shift an object, the other must respond accordingly. No exchange of words should be required. Disclaimer. I take no responsibility for any physical, spiritual or mental experience the process might reveal or feelings that might emerge. You're on your own. 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 You're on your own.